call it DNA, right? And that's not the actual DNA. Um, it's design, narrative, and art that all work together. And not one is, is stronger than the other, right? They're, they're pillars that actually have to kind of come together. It's an orchestration of all of these of these three pillars. And so that's why like, we're coming up with like thematic cohesion, and we're coming up with the uniqueness of the character. We're coming up with the iconic nature of that character. Sometimes the art team or the artist creates a you know a character on his off or her off time, and like and say, oh my gosh, the gameplay mechanics on this would be amazing. And the narrative might jump in and be like, oh, what if uh, what if they were from here, or what if they were from from this region uh, of our world? So it's like it's 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 an amalgamation, and it, 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 there's no one step you know first step process in character development. It's, it's really he who has, uh, or she who has, a, you know, a really cool and unique uh, idea, you know, kind of like, can start directing that, in a sense. This is a living game. It's a living, breathing game. It, it doesn't land, right? And if it lands, then what do we do? So we're constantly making sure that this thing, you know, this game is, is getting better and better and better. And it's an engaging, you know, experience for our players.